Greetings in the name of Jah Rastafari. So much is happening so fast and so exciting. It's hard to even know where to begin today. We are winning. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? Truth is doing the work. All we have to sit back and just keep sharing the truth and watch what it does, watch what it's doing. It's magnificent. The midterm elections in the US, it was a bridge too far for the criminal elite. They just played their hand a little too much and this time they're caught. So the wheels are falling off their plan. Meanwhile, Trump rocks, let's just admit it. It, this red wave stuff, 93% of his endorsements were picked. He got like 208 out of 230 or something like that. But 93%. Wow, you can't ask for better than that. And uh, the best part of everything is, even with all this cheating, crazy Nancy is gone. What a breakthrough. Wow, she's gone. And Trump, during his speech, said she's in a, on a foreign flight. A lot of people said she's going to Gitmo. Because we did see footage of her uh, seemed to be being apprehended. She was in custody in an SUV. That was weird. And that whole stuff with her husband, super weird. But, like I said, the truth is doing the work. We just need to share it. And there's so many of us now. And... Uh, just a little more on that speech, you know, the Trump thing. It was not what a lot of us expected, but we were kind of being naive. I mean, Kerry Cassidy and myself were of the hope that uh, we were going to see an announcement of the military being involved and something totally different than what he did, in fact, was an incredible speech. He never mentions 2024. It's just filled with all kinds of interesting things that uh, promises, if you will. Incredible speech. And it was um, very presidential. Now, Q is back. How about that? We've had three new posts from Q. And this time, they're not as cryptic as they used to be. Super, super powerful. Uh, the last one I'm gonna mention, it starts with Runbeck. Everyone needs to know Runbeck. Runbeck need to be famous. Everyone is going to know who is Runbeck. So it says Runbeck, and these are all in a row. Dominion, SOS offices, Security of, uh, Secretary of State. Investigations, researchers, whistleblowers, Patriots in trusted positions, trust yourself. You have seen the truth. Time to show the world. Focus, focus in capital letters, ascension, Q. So, how inspirational, incredible. Juan O'Savin, jaw bless. He was at Mar-a-Lago, according to Nino, but he hasn't made any new videos for uh, quite some time. This is sort of like a record period for him. So obviously he's very, very buried in work. And he was right about Trump though, because now we know for a fact, uh, see we had heard that they had an insider knowledge that arrest warrants were issued. But it's very difficult to arrest a former president or even, I believe, commander-in-chief, sitting president, because Secret Service are involved and all of these agencies and locals, everything. It's too complicated. So the DOJ have appointed a new um, prosecutor to that case. Uh, I mentioned there, SG Anon has not disappointed. He has been awesome and rising and rising. Uh, Derek Johnson, also excellent. Um, and Derek Johnson says it's not good to make predictions of the date because they always lead to disappointment. And he's really right about that. And he's a f military vet, so he knows. And for those guys, you don't try and predict anything. You just follow your orders. Uh, 
a monkey works this is incredible what monkey works provides the intel it's it's so excellent because it's showing all of the air air uh, traffic around the world and and monkey gets into economics and he shows um, all sorts of things that relate to this war that we're in uh, but I almost jumped through the screen one time when he's showing all of these military flights over the US 401 in this count with 14 foreign militaries over top of the US and he's tracking uh, Biggs Air Force Base and these other bases where they're coming and going from and he's not really putting it together What Derek Johnson has put together these are National Guard? It's it's National Guard and and it's because of the election So that was what I wanted to try and put together the reason there were 400 uh, uh, Airframes above the US and by the way, there's no transponders on the fighter jets and They can take other things off transponder so when there's 400 above when 250 is normal those are air refuelers and, and uh, sniffers and all kinds of like we are in full-blown war and Derek he calls it the complex coordinated military operation that's what's happening and Trump's trying to distance himself from all of this and he has to for the optics doesn't want to come off looking like a dictator but he is the commander-in-chief so when he made the announcement from Mar-a-Lago, the America's comeback starts now. That was a military signal. That dropped the hammer. But it's up to those guys. They don't need him. They don't need anyone else. They are in charge, and they're, they're on top of this. By the way, I didn't write this down on my notes, but it's so cool that George Magazine is coming out with a new issue. And this is 2.0 George Magazine. So you can go to georgeonline.com and find all about it. And what's even more cool is they've hired Rachel Right Side Blonde as, a, as an editor, senior editor as a matter of fact. So that's fabulous. I want to work for uh, George Magazine. If you hear this, any of you, Rachel, or uh, you all know who who you are <laughs> so and I guess I should have mentioned I, I really get not much into my own things but I recently took over the uh, Toastmasters a 71 year old group in Vancouver called the Van Toastmasters on meetup with uh, just about 900 members I'm gonna merge that together with the Vancouver Economic Summit and we are going to create uh, a real place in a pub too where people can come and speak their minds and have the conversation and someday we'd hope that Juan O'Savin would be our our guest uh, to Vancouver uh, roundtable and we call it speed debating so uh, so what I do have to share with you and I I've just been so excited about this is the scientific breakthrough that's been disclosed to the world and, and I, I got all excited because of Diamond from Oppenheimer Ranch Project. You know, boom, knowledge, that guy. He's so awesome. I love Diamond. Well, he has this video, which I'll put down below, Sacred Geometry Decoded, Atomic Energy from Water, Plasmoid Proteum Power. Wow. And he links to the actual paper. But what he shows in the video is Joe Rogan had Randall Carlson and Graham Hancock on his show, The Joe Rogan Experience. And so Diamond was showing some of this. You can go back and look at either of these things to learn. Um, but Randall Carlson, is he's so excellent, by the way. And he, he puts an end to any discussion about climate change. Uh, that's a hoax. And Randall Carlson, uh, Cliff High as well, he can explain it really simply, really briefly. It's a complete total hoax. But none of that's going to matter moving forward because there's an inventor by the name of Malcolm Bendal. And he wrote this paper that's out there now. And it was first written in 2017. But it explains energy, atomic energy from water. 
uh, and Diamond, he, he breaks it down even more. His name is Dave, actually, but I, it's, he, everyone knows him as Diamond. Proteum determines the 25,920 great year frequencies of our solar system. The resonant frequencies of all other elements can be calculated when the 25,920 years is reduced to days, hours, and seconds. Now, I know you can't understand in this little brief overview that I've given you, but if you can imagine the whole periodical element table, they can show the corresponding frequencies to every single element on that table. This is so breakthrough. Um, so, it helps to explain ancient structures all over the planet. It also explains what Tesla was on to. And this is all going to come into our future. Graham Hancock explains how we humans are not nearly as smart as we've always thought we were. We've been studying the wrong types of science, where some of these other ancient, hist uh, ancient cultures, they were way advanced than us. Because, you know, Juan O'Savin, he always says, if you have a source of affordable energy, you have a booming economy. Well, imagine where you fill up your car once every few years because you runs on water from a tap. You only need the gasoline or the diesel just to get the motor started. And the rest, it comes from proteum power. And proteum is in everything in the universe. The black hole is a type of a proteum. So Randall Carlson, he explains how the plans that I'm talking about were saved in 11 uh, strategic locations around the world because they've been working on this for a long time but this the document was 2017 it hadn't been released Randall Carlson's been reading it all the way along and learning and, and, and studying it but the inventor knew that they'd be kiboshed by uh, having you know the whole thing taken away or the patent uh, uh, hidden or whatever like sabotage so that's not going to happen they've already put all of this open source information in 11 different universities around the world and with scientists so that it can't they can't take it away from us so we got free energy coming baby if you understand that it's so significant now on another note the biblical discoveries have been incredible. You know this cave system under the Euphrates River? That is really amazing. Everybody's been talking about that, so I won't go into it too much. But apparently there's some kind of uh, sounds coming out of it that sound very much like um, moaning and groaning <laughs> from hell. But another really cool biblical discovery, or new to me, and this isn't brand new, but it's it's there's a channel on YouTube called um, biblical expedition Bible that's it and he goes on about an archaeological project that started in the 1970s and it was a dig all along the western wall of Jerusalem and what they found was the actual gate that led to what was King Herod's palace complex and then later that's where Pontius Pilate would have lived and inside of that complex, which is inside of the walls of Jerusalem, that's where the Roman soldier barracks were. So this is really amazing because this is the exact place where the trial of Jesus Christ was held on these exact stairs. Uh, they know precisely where it, where it took place. And even to this day, tourists are led to the Eastern Gate, another gate, of Jerusalem and told that this is where Christ, you know, what all this ha It's totally not the case. It's like so many other things. We're misled and, you know, if you tell a lie enough times or everyone believes it and it's not true. So they actually found the real gate inside the city and they, they then later they, there was a huge mound of dirt. They took that all away. They found the actual floor, the tile floor, Roman tile floor, where Christ would have been lashed by the uh, uh, 
uh, Roman soldiers once upon a time. And then the gate where he was taken out and put in front of the crowd. And they are all screaming, uh, crucify, crucify, that sort of thing. So that to me is an amazing thing. So truth is coming out more and more. And I'll just close by saying that Brazil, showing the world, baby, <laughs> showing the world, we are not backing down. There's too many of us, right? We forward in this generation triumphantly. Thank you for watching.